Hey guys, how's it going? We're out here at the Super 8 single track that heads that way. It's called Super 8 because it's by the Super 8 Hotel here. Beta X Trainer, Gas Gas EC 300. Oh, it's a 300 X Trainer because no one buys a 250. That would be crazy. And yeah, my neck is feeling decent right this second. We'll see. Oh, I didn't pack my air pump. Well, fuck it. <laughs> it's in the suitcase. It's holding. It held all night, so we will say that's probably okay. If not, I'll be riding on a fl Oh! Oh! Forgot the Voyager! Ah! Uh, top little hard part. Should have the car key. Just hit unlock with that climb tactical shirt again. And the tactical shorts. So we have a video on Trail Taker of doing this trail complete, I do believe. So you can check out the complete trail there. Mine will be more edited. Maybe back backpack a little bit. So you get to go through the tunnel of love is what I call it. Whoa! <laughs> a little sandy there at the beginning. Well, steep climb out. There's Green River back there. Ah, commitment. Okay, it's like, don't go over the bars again. Yeah. yeah, that'd be tricky to come up. That's probably why there's a go around. We come back this way, we'll check that out. I like to add that to the GPS tracks, just so people know. You can find the tracks on trailtaker.com. I called it the Super 8 Highway, I believe. I think it's appropriate named. It's pretty flowy. A lot of whoops and sections. I'm okay with people finding out about trails and riding them. Why? Because that gives you more ammo if they go close something. You as a group can 
be like, hey, we've been riding that for 30 years. <laughs> you know? And there's proof of videos nowadays and photos. Yeah. Be like, it hasn't hurt anything. Especially with videos now, you can show that. It hasn't really changed. Obviously, if it's raining. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. little exposure <laughs> nothing too crazy It's kind of cool. You're kind of out here. Got these little mounds. This is a cool area. That big boulder right, right in the middle of the trail. I think I'm in the wrong gear. No, I was in first. on the GPS. So you just wheelie over that stuff. Don't dick around.
really up that last little bit. in motocross bike you don't have the same suspension <laughs> oh yeah I remember this it's like yeah it looks like Got it? <laughs> when this climb, uh, cross trainer mesh gear is like, I just go even this slow. It's like, I'm cooling right off. I feel good. And it blows right through that tactical shirt. So it's expensive, like I was saying before, but I don't know. So far, I am impressed. I mean, it's lightweight, does seem to protect. <laughs> Although I hit my head, I didn't really, really test the gear all too much. But while laying there, you know, I didn't feel any of the rocks or anything poking me. It wasn't uncomfortable. <laughs> So basically you come around here and you can see the people play down there. Oh yeah, you go down right here. It's scary as shit. It's sketchy as shit. It's the sketchy shit. Oh fuck man. You just drop in, butt off the back. And then this one is just, you have a run out. You're, you're also doing the same. You're not trying to break too hard. I mean, I haven't got the brake. Well, the back one's probably locked up, but I'm controlling it. <laughs> kind of pulsating it. Of course, I can do that with, it's a clake that I'm running over here on the left bar. So clutch and brake all in one. So that's actually, to me, scarier than the climb. Because if you're inexperienced, you, that could get out of hand just coming down that you just got to see that it's a run out you're gonna gain speed and that's just there's always a crappy feeling amazing how barren it is out here. I just couldn't even imagine. Like back in the day. Uh, crossing this. And really you're crossing mostly. <laughs> yeah, get to the mountains of Utah. And then having to go over or around those. Oh God. And you have canyons, you know. So, I mean, especially if you were one of the first, a lot of your time traveling wasn't crossing the U.S. 
it was trying to figure out a route. I mean, yeah, you were crossing, but you, you know, you didn't have a direct route. So <laughs> you were like, well, let's go here. And then you might get over a hill and be like, that's a canyon we can't get across. We have to now decide, do we go north or do we go south? What time of the year is it all at this point? You know, and a lot of stuff they probably didn't know about, like the weird weather patterns in some of the, these places. Plus it was a colder time in general anyways in history, because well, well, we were coming out of the mini ice age, you know, because global warming is true. No, it's not. I mean, yes it is, and no, it's not. It's not as man-made as they like to think. People like to think, you know. Naturally, the Earth is warming. The sun is slowly expanding in 7.5 billion years. The sun is going to have gone past the Earth's orbit, you know. Way before then, probably, I'm guessing two billion years or so, it will have already been too hot to live here because the sun had already expanded, expanded too much. So unless we either colonize, colonize, uh, either we colonize space or other planets to keep our species alive, assuming we're even around in some some form. I mean, who knows what humans will be like at that point. Maybe we, we did evolve, or maybe we drove ourselves to extinction, or the Earth had done something, you know, asteroid impact, or something, and just wiped us out, you know, or set us back even. Maybe not even wiped us out, just set us back. And thus, we never made it in the end of the Earth, and that's it.